Hey guys, do you like climbing trees? What about catching things in those trees? Just like bees. Do you like wearing funny clothes or hanging out with friends? Well, this is Beekeeping Basics. jacket on. It's very special because once I have it all zipped up, I flip my veil on. It's like a cool hat. Zip it up and the bees can't sting me. So I can safely do my hive inspection. We're going to do my hive inspection. Don't worry. There aren't any real bees in it today. Take the roof off. And I'm going to grab my hive tool. This is one of the beekeeper's best friends because bees like to glue everything together with something called propolis. So we'll put this hive tool in and crank it open. Now I'll use it to get the frames apart so I can look for the queen. I found her! There she is! Okay, put her back. And I'll look some more until I find honey. Now that I have my frames of honey, I'm going to take it over to our extractor. The frame of honey goes into the extractor. I'll put the lid on. around and once we spin them enough the honey will fly out and come all the way down and then I'll open the spout with my bottle underneath and the honey will pour out straight into my bottle and once I have enough I'll close it up put a sticker on and it's ready to go to sell or just to eat because it's so yummy there's any brood there's there's clearly not any brood on this frame that I can see. However, it's not it's a pretty cloudy day. It's harder to see eggs if she's laid any in the open cells. But you can see some really nice bee bread, some nectar, and even some of the, the girls are bringing in some pollen still. So it's really pretty bright yellow, which if I'm not mistaken is the goldenrod right mm -hmm. now. So what's the difference between bee bread and pollen. Bee bread is pollen mixed with some honey. And the bees, the bees mix it up really well and that's what they feed their the, the little baby bees, the larvae. So how can you tell the difference? The difference is the bee bread will have a completely different texture actually. It, uh, it's really thick. It, it sticks together just like bread. Yeah. Is it the, shiny? It, it is a little bit shiny. Not not shiny like nectar, but... Okay, so we found the queen on this frame, so we're going to look extra hard for some eggs. Make sure she's still laying well. And again, it's a, it's a pretty cloudy day, so it's a little more difficult to see the eggs. However, I did find a few at the bottom of the frame here. Several cells. Hopefully we can get a good shot of that. They just look like little grains of rice. It's really difficult to see on this uh, on the darker comb here. Here's our queen. She's looking for some empty space. If she finds some, I want you to look at the front legs. What she's going to do is measure um, the cell with her front legs to figure out drone cell, worker cell. What should I lay? So we're in our War A hive, and this is a different kind of hive than we traditionally have here in uh, Kuratuk. Most people here have Langstroth, which is an American hive. The War A hive is uh, European, and it's pretty cool because it's top bar, which means it doesn't have any sides. It's just a piece of wood, and they build comb on it. The uh, queen. You can tell we marked in red so that we can find her easy because look at how many bees are there. It's like where's Waldo? So we marked her so we know where Waldo is. But this hive looks really good.